Hi guys, I have a full body workout for you today and we are gonna work pretty hard. You stick with me for this 30, 35 minutes um, and you are gonna feel really good about your workout. We should be able to, if you use heavy enough weights, to get that heart rate up close to that hit rate zone. We're gonna work some muscles, so we'll be building muscles. It's gonna be a good one. You should have a nice metabolism burn afterwards. Uh, what do you need today? What we need is a heavy, medium, and a light set of weights. Heavy weights, think chest press deadlift. Medium weights, think your bicep curl shoulder press weight, and your light weights, think front and lateral raise weight. So just gather up a couple of sets of weights so that you have those available. And um, we're just gonna start quickly with a little cardio in the beginning, then we're gonna hit a set of, it's called EMOMs, but they're actually EHOMs. They're every minute on the half minute. Every 30 seconds, we're gonna change exercises. So we're gonna do a set of those. We got a set of core that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's a burner, and then we've got another set of EHOMs. So gather up that stuff. Join me here. We're gonna work really quick so you can get a good workout in and you're gonna feel good about it. Okay guys, we're gonna start with this cardio right here. Each exercise we're gonna do two times. We're gonna hop right into it and get it done pretty quickly here. So we're just gonna start with skiers. Your arms are out to the side. We'll do it two times. Get ready. Three, two, one. Exercise one. Okay, I did this workout the other day with my husband and I used heavier weights. He was definitely in the hit rate zone. I was definitely in the hit rate zone. Today, I am gonna do it with a little bit lighter weight so that I can chat with you, talk to you a little bit better. I don't want to be killing myself or else, break. Right? I'm not gonna be able to tell you what to do. So I will um, use a little bit lighter weights, but if you want to challenge yourself, Three, pick up the heavier weights. One. Doing that one again. Next we have those mountaintop squats. We're just moving those feet side to side. Sorry guys, should have mentioned that. Meg is a fan of these skiers. They get your heart rate elevated. Not a lot of work involved with Three, it. They're kind of nice. Two, one, All right, rest. mountaintop squats. We're down, we're touching, picking those arms straight up. Warm up those legs a little bit. Make sure you straighten out those arms Three, though. Two, one, exercise We one. want to get Pretty decent pace going here. Bend those legs. Get yourself warmed up. Great job. We're kicking it in pretty fast today. Three, it's Friday. Two, one, rest. You want to get this workout done. <laughs> and I want you to feel good about it. We're going to do those mountaintop squats again. Three. Remember one, booty back. Exercise one. Straight up. Make sure you're not cutting it short. All the way up. Try to bend those legs. If you're stopping up here, you should be able to go faster. Three, two, one. Rest. All right. We're going to hold those arms up overhead, and we're doing squat jacks. They don't have to be crazy fast like when we do them for hits. Three. But keeping your arms up will keep one. that heart rate up. Exercise arms up. One. We're just in and out. If you don't like that impact, you can switch over to these. Great job, almost Three, there. Two, one. Break. Rest. All right, we're gonna do it again. This time maybe go just a little faster. Watch problems. Great job. Keep that core tight. Arms up overhead. It's going to get that heart rate up. Three, two, one. All right. Option instead of mountain climbers, always march and reach. The rest of us, we're going to do mountain climbers with a pause on three. So you're going to do Exercise this with me. One. one, two, three, pause. One, two, three, pause. On your own time now. Pause on the third one. Great. A little bit of core here. Three, two, one, rest. Great job. All right, get ready. Go again. This is it then. Two, We're done with the, the warm-up. Exercise And one. start. Remember that three pause. Three, 
Almost done. Three, two, one, rest. All right, very quickly. Let's hinge at the hips, get those feet about shoulder width apart. I like my toes facing out. Hinge at the hips, go down and grab a hold of those ankles. And let's stretch out those hips. So bend those knees, get that booty back. Use those elbows to open up those knees and hips. Lean side to side a little. We're gonna stretch out those ankles. And let's just put those hands back, fall back, hip, uh, feet outside your hips, and just drop these knees down just a couple, just to get ready for some squatting. All right. Hopefully you've already got your stuff gathered up. We're gonna hit the set pretty quickly. Okay, for this set, we have five exercises. We're gonna do them back to back. No stopping and taking a break. Then you're gonna get a long 30 second break after that. We're going to start with that medium set of weights. We're doing a bicep curl, twisting those hands in, shoulder press, back down, bicep curl. That's the simple motion of what you're doing. Then we're gonna take those weights, put them together, pull those shoulders back down in. We're gonna do a goblet squat, knee raise. Switch back to the other side, goblet squat, knee raise. Then we're gonna drop those weights, hinge at the hips. Remember, I always wanna flat back on these, looking at the ground. I'll walk you through all these as we do them. We're gonna do a wide row. Remember the wide row. I want, I'm looking for like that 45, not out here. If you have any neck or back issues, keep your back up a little bit. If you have neck issues, try pulling those elbows in closer or alternating helps usually. All right, and then our last one is, we're gonna drop those weights down, shoulder blades back down in, or pull those knees up, go down into a sumo squat. Now this one's a little funny, so if you're struggling with it, just do a pulse. But if you can with me, we're gonna do a little pulse, big pulse, little, big. We're never gonna stand the entire way up. If you're dying and you need to stand the entire way up, feel free to. And that's gonna be paired at the end. We're gonna finish up with a quick boxing. All right, gather up that medium weight. We're gonna hop right into this. I'll walk you through, cue you along while we do this first set. So get ready with that medium set of weights. Three, two, one. Shoulder blades Exercise. back in their pocket, squeeze those glutes. Keep those elbows tight, press up, control down. Bicep, shoulder press. Stick right along with me. Hopefully, you've got a weight you can use the entire time. Keep those glutes squeezed. Try to keep those elbows going straight up by your ears. We don't want them going way out in front of your head. Now, when she counts us down, Three, two, one. put Exercise it right here one. and drop down. Goblet squat, knee up. Goblet squat, knee up. Notice how my chest and my booty come up at the same time. We don't want this. Hinged over. If I do that, the weights are far away from my chest, like we've been talking about. Weights close to my chest, and I don't want to lead with my booty and then my chest. All in one motion. Three, two, one. All right. Exercise one. Hinge at the hips. Right now, I want you to look at the ground with me. We're pulling those elbows back. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Down. Squeeze. Down, do a pause at the top. Those elbows are going at that 45. My back is flat. If you find your back is arching, stand up, tighten it up, come back down again. If you have any low back issues, stand upright a little bit more. Three, two, one. All right, right to that sumo. Feet far apart, toes outward. Let's go down. Pulse, bigger pulse. Little pulse, big pulse. This is a burner because we're not coming the entire way up, but we're asking a lot of our body moving back and forth. Again, I wanna be upright. You just did those rows. You don't wanna be bent over. Keep that chest upright, okay? Challenge yourself. All right, drop that weight. Right to boxing. You can do boxing like this, this boxing, whatever you want. I like the side to side, pretty speedy. I'll tell you when to switch halfway. Switch. Halfway. 
Awesome. Almost to your break. You did that one time. We've got two more times. Ask yourself about weight. How was that weight? Was it okay for you? Um, if it didn't feel like much, pick up a heavier weight. If you were really struggling for any of the exercises, grab a lighter weight. Got a nice 30 second break here. Enjoy that. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna do those bicep curls. Shoulder press. Make sure you're taking them straight up and not out here. All right, let's gather up that weight. Let's get ready. Second round. Shoulders back in their pocket. Exercise one. Bicep, shoulder. Still control on the way down. We should be getting that heart rate up without any jumping around. That's halfway. Great job. Squeeze those glutes. Keep that core tight. Right after this, we've got those goblet squats. Three, awesome job. Two. Exercise one. Right into those goblets. Try to make the, the transition speedy. Remember, that weight's staying right next to your chest. If it's far away from my chest, it means my butt is back there. I want to think That's about halfway. down, just like that. Keep it going. Pulling that leg up makes me tighten up that glute on the down leg. Really Three. activates that glute. Two. Wide rows next. Hinge of the hip, shoulder blades back in their pocket. Pull back, pause at the top. Make sure you're looking straight at the ground. If you're feeling a lot of tension in your upper back, try alternating. Do one side and the other. That usually helps. That's halfway. Or pull those elbows in and do a close grip row. Great job. Three. Right to those sumos. Sumo, one. small pulse, bigger pulse, small, big. Like I said, if it's confusing you too much, either do the small or the three quarter. Try not to stand the entire way up. Now this time, whoo, you should be feeling a burn. Burn is good, burn is change. Try not to completely tighten those legs, straighten those legs out. Oh. One. Boxing! Almost forgot. <laughs> Hitting it here, your heart rate should be at a pretty good pace here. That's half Switch. Rate. As soon as we're done with this, if you don't have a watch and you want to check your heart rate, I'll have you look for it quick. So as soon as we finish up here, look for your heart rate. Exercise one. Okay, look for that heart rate. Get ready. Three, two, one. Start counting. That's halfway. Stop. Take that number times four, and that's where your heart rate is. All right, let's gather up those weights. Last ones here. And start. This is it. You know what you're doing. It's our third set. I know you're getting tired. Keep those elbows in on those bicep curls. Control that motion. It's a bicep curl, then a shoulder press. We're not using momentum. We're using your muscles. Right to that goblet squat. Try to make that transition speedy. Exercise one. Goblet squat. Knee up. Remember, I'm keeping that chest up. Those weights are pushed right into my chest. They're not coming away from my body when I go down in the squat. That's halfway. Challenge yourself with how low you can go. You know, Meg's been talking a lot about that. That range of motion. Wide row next. All right, wide Exercise row, one. pause at the top. Make sure you're looking right like at your toes. Even ahead of your toes a little bit, put some tension in that neck. Look straight down. That's halfway. 
After this, we've got those last set of sumos. Awesome job. Almost done with these. Pausing Three, at the top. Two, one. Sumos. Exercise one. Last set. Now, you're getting tired. Don't let that weight rock up into your toes. Keep that entire foot pushed into the ground. Try to push through that heel. What happens is we start to rock up. Don't let your, your body do that. Push into those heels. Sink a little lower right here. Challenge yourself. This is it. Try to get a little lower. Keep those knees pulled back. Two, one. Woo! Exercise. Last set of cardio right here. Hit this. Make it worthwhile. Pick up the pace. You get a long break here while I explain what's going on. Awesome job. That's halfway. Switch sides. Here we go. Almost done. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Woo! Exercise one. I told you it was going to be fast and furious. It is fast and furious. But <laughs> it's making really good use of your time. All right. Grab a mat. We're going to get down on the ground. We're going to do some core. Okay, we're going to hit that core right here. We're going to move pretty quickly because I want to keep that heart rate elevated. We're going to do the same type of a thing. We're going to do three exercises straight in a row. Each one's 20 seconds. You're going to do them boom, boom, boom. No rest. You'll get the rest after those three exercises. We're going to start on one side. This first exercise, we're coming up. We're touching the outside of that foot and coming right back down. If you can come up on the shoulder, that's great. If that feels like it's too much, feel free to just keep that head on the ground. And if you need to bend that leg, just bring it up and touch, okay? Then we're gonna do the other side, and then we're gonna do that V up, so I get that V up, back pushed in the ground, and crunch in the middle. Back to that V up and crunch. We're gonna hit both sides. If it feels like that's too much, feel free to just do crunches, okay? All right, those are your three exercises. I'll explain to you the next one afterwards. So get ready. We're starting with that right hand to the left foot. Three, two, one. Like I said, if you can come up and touch on the outside, that's great. Touch. A little like pause there is good. Now we're gonna go right to the other side. Like I said, there's no rest for the weary today. <laughs> Left arms out, rest. right into it. You're gonna be feeling this no rest for sure. It's gonna be a burner. Embrace the burn, you're working hard, that's good. Right into those V up crunches. If that feels like it's a little too much, you can also do those star crunches. Exercise right those V up, crunch. Great job, arms and legs straight. If you need to, you can lay down in that star crunch and come up. Or you're doing crunches with both feet on the ground. Three, two, one. Great right. job, we're gonna move into a side plank. We're just doing a right side plank with those feet out or the knees bent. We're gonna slide that arm underneath, go right to the other side, and then we're going back down doing an elbow plank. So get on that arm, either legs bent or legs out. Let's get up into that plank right here. Pull those hips up, as high as you can get them. Great job here. When she says three, two, one, if you can, you're gonna slide that hand right underneath. I'll show you a second or two before she says it so you can see what it looks like. Just like that. Rest. And switch to the other side. Now when she gives us a three, two, one, we're gonna come back and do a plank with both elbows on the ground. Woo, great job. I am feeling three, the bird. Two, one. Exercise one. Elbows on the ground. If you need to drop those knees, drop those knees, but still keep that hip down. We're not having that butt booty up in the air. And if you're doing a plank, remember, no booty in the air. Look straight down at the mat. Three, two, one. All right, rest. rest. Now we're breaking this one up. So we're gonna do feet um, pulled up, back pushed in the ground. Just put those, those hands at your hips. 
We're starting with just leg lifts, bringing the whole way up, we're at that three quarter. Then we're gonna do heels to heaven, whoops. Pause it for a second. And then we're gonna do heels to heaven. My feet are up and I'm just lifting up, straight up. Then we're gonna combine them and do those reverse crunches. So legs out, pause, lift up. All right, just leg lifts to start. Ready, three, two, one. Exercise one. So just leg lifts. Now, your core should be burning. Usually these leg lifts are probably not a big deal. Now, if you're feeling your back lift, bend those legs and just do your leg lifts like this, okay? Three, two, one. Bring those Press. feet straight up. Now we're just pulsing up. Try to get those hips off the ground. Even if you're just doing a small lift, you're still using that core. Great job. Now we're combining them, legs down, up, pulse. Down, up, pulse. Down, up, pulse. Great. Control that motion down. Three, two, one, rest. All right, I know it's burning. We have one more exercise. I'm gonna explain it to you right here. Okay, this set is a burner. I'm gonna give us a little bit longer break here. What we're going to do is we're going to take our right elbow and our right knee and push them together. Pushing them together is what's going to engage this side. I really have to try to push. My choices on the other side are I can just leave this leg out and that arm up, or I'm going to pick that up off the ground. It's going to make it harder. Then I'm going to, when she counts us down, we're going to push that left leg in. I'm going to give us a little bit of a break because your core is going to be screaming. Then we're going to put both elbows in both knees. You have a choice, two things you can do here. I'm either pushing them in, and it's kind of on your own honor that you're actually pushing them in, or I'm gonna rock. If I rock, I know I'm pushing them in because what's gonna happen is my elbows and knees are gonna to wanna to come apart. I have to keep them together. That's the challenge. Rocking, keeping those elbows and knees touching. All right, get ready. It's one minute, let's fight through this burn. Right leg, right elbow, ready, three, two, one. Exercise Push that one. arm into that knee. The other side is out or resting down. Really pushing it in. I am feeling the burn. If you're not feeling the burn, push that elbow in more. When she counts us down, we're switching to the other side. You sure, your core should be Three, screaming. Two, one. Switch sides. Really pushing in. Oh, I'm looking forward to that extra break. <laughs> Woo! Push, 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 push. Fight for it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, stretch that arm. Oh my God. I'm going to give us a full 20 seconds here. This last 20 seconds is going to be a burner. Remember, if you're rocking, don't let those knees and elbows separate. So get ready. Push that back into the ground. Three. Bring those knees and elbows up and start. Rest. We're rocking. Do not let those knees and elbows come apart. Woo! Feeling it for sure. It's a pretty intense burn. <laughs> Good times. Three, Almost there. Two, one. Woo! Exercise one. All right, you are now going to be looking forward to that last set. You're glad you're done with core. <laughs> Our four exercises are going to be chest press. I'm going to do mine on the floor. You could use a bench. We're going to go right into deadlift. So that's our heavy weight. Then we're going to drop that weight. Remember on those deadlifts, flat back. Keep that weight close to your shins, looking at the ground, pulling straight back up. Booty goes back. Then we're going to pick up your leg weights, go right to front and lateral raises. One arm's in the front, one arm's on a lateral raise. We're going to keep a hold of that weight, or you can drop the weight completely. And this is gonna be our cardio as well. We're gonna do some curtsy to side lunges. On well, those curtsy lunges, I'm gonna step back behind. I'm gonna keep that knee, trying to keep that knee going straight up as much as possible. Keep that whole foot pushed into the ground. I'm gonna step out into a side lunge. Try to get nice and low, come back up, go right back to that curtsy. It's gonna keep that heart rate up. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds and switch to the other side, then you get your 30 second break. So we need your heavy set of weights for the beginning then your lighter set of weights. I will say, I did this with heavier weights the other day, 
And I was able to go right from my chest press, stand up, and do my deadlifts. If that's not an option for you, you're gonna wanna put those weights down, quickly stand up, and grab those weights and start right into your deadlift. Um, my husband, it wasn't quite an option because of, I think, flexibility, but just listen to your body on that. All right, so make sure, like I know I'm gonna switch to this lighter set of weights. I'm gonna have this lighter set of weights here. I've got my heavier set of weights here. All right, and like I said, I'm not using quite as heavy weights as I did the other day. So ask yourself, what is a good weight for you? All right, let's get ready. We're going to bend those legs if you're on the ground, push that back into the ground. We've got those weights away from us, and we're, as we drop them down, I'm gonna drop those down at that 45. Remember, I don't want my elbows straight out to the side. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one. Exercise Weights are straight up, drop them down to that 45, push straight back up. This is using a lot of tricep too. Squeeze that core, make sure everything's engaged. Control on the way down on these. Now when she counts us down, I'm gonna stand right up, get right into those deadlifts. Core is tight as I stand up. If you've got those heavier weights in your hands, you're gonna to have to keep that core super tight. Exercise one. I'm gonna keep that core tight, hinge of the hips, straight back. Hinge of the hips, looking at the ground. Control. Now, if you need to stand up without the weights, that's fine. Just try to be speedy about that transition. You're gonna get plenty in. Now, as she counts us down, we're gonna grab that lighter weight. We're going right to those side and front raises. I wanna keep those glutes nice and tight on those. Glutes are nice and tight. I'm out to the side and the front and down. Try not to lift higher than your shoulders. I'm already feeling my heart rate going back up after that core. Control. That's halfway. Squeeze those glutes. Keep that core tight. Don't twist back and forth. Woo! <laughs> feeling a burn in the shoulders. Three, two, one. Now, waist are either one. here or up here. We're going to go down, do that curtsy. Now step out to that side lunge. Go back to that curtsy. Side lunge, curtsy. If you want to keep the weights right here, keep the weights right here. Sometimes I think people um, hinge forward a little bit, but remember on that side lunge, I'm dropping that hip down to that knee. Three, two, one. Okay, I was pretty slow Exercise on that set. One. Whoops, <laughs> right to the other side, I'm talking. Move down a little bit more. Um, Try to pick up the pace. Probably go a little faster than I am since I'm talking. That's halfway. This should get that heart rate up. Great job. You get a 30 second break after this. Three, two, one. Exercise. Woo! One. Full 30 seconds. We're going to start again. Chest press deadlift. All right? My heart rate's up in hip zone. I don't know about you. And I'm not even using that heavy a weight. That's All right, get this weight set up for yourself again. Got two more sets of these. And you're done with this workout. All right, get ready. Three, Here we go. Two, set one. two. Exercise one. Down with those chest press, straight up. I'm controlling all the way down. Putting those elbows at that 45, not straight out from my shoulder. That's halfway. Almost there. When I stand up, try to make that transition as speedy as you can. So got that heavier weight. Three, two, one. Exercise one. Right into those deadlifts. Booty goes back. Weight running right down my shins. I'm looking at the ground. My knees are soft. Don't lock out those knees. That's halfway. Control on the way down still. My heart rate is up. I'm moving heavier weights. So my heart rate's already up. Three. 
And no mountain climbers or right to those other weights. Squeeze those glutes. Keep that core tight. Like I said, no burpees, no mountain climbers. And That's my heart rate's way. pretty high. It's about to go higher once I do these curtsies and side lunges. If you want to drop the weight completely for the curtsies and sides, feel Three, free. Two. Or just use one weight. Exercise one. Got those curtsy to side lunge. Try to drop that hip down towards the knee. My butt's going back, but I'm not hinging at the hips like we always talk about. That's I don't want my booty here. I want my booty down there. Oops, I lost my balance there. Great job. Three, two, right to the other side. Exercise Step one. over. Great job. Try to keep that foot fully planted in the ground. That knee should be pretty upright. That's halfway. Whenever you do that curtsy. Almost there. We're going to have one more full set of all of these after this. You're almost to your break. Awesome job. Two, one. Woo! Exercise one. All right, put those weights down in a convenient location to grab again. Check your heart rate. Where are you? I'm gonna get back on the ground, get myself ready, pull those weights on either side. I'm in hit zone. I don't know about you. All right, let's lay back. Last set, let's hit it hard, right here. Two, one, exercise Control one. on the way down. Tight core. Really try to squeeze at the top. Great job. You're almost done. Last That's set of strength. You've worked hard. You can feel great about your workout. You worked all of your muscles. Got that heart rate up. Three, two, two one. Right to that deadlift. One. You should feel like you got a really good workout in today. We hit core, we hit upper, we hit lower, we hit chest, tricep, shoulders. We hit it all. Back, thighs. So today was a good one. Get ready, we're gonna grab that weight. I know these shoulders are Three, burning. Two, one. Exercise Last set of these. Embrace it. I know I am. <laughs> See, I'm still controlling all the way down, not letting these weights drop. If you feel like you have to let those weights drop, try to go down and wait a little bit. Core is tight. Last set of these curtsy side lunges. That's what's getting my heart rate up. It's making me sweat. Two, one. Exercise All right, one. we've got this curtsy to side lunge. Curtsy to side lunge. Really try to keep it moving here. We've got like 45 seconds of work. Fight through the burn. If you need to drop the weights, drop the weights. Going right to that other side. And you're done. Three, two, one. Right to the other side. One. No rest for the weary today. <laughs> I tried to make good use of our rest so you get a good workout in. Short amount of time. <laughs> Almost done. Less than 15 seconds. If you need to go about your day, great job. Three, two, one. Woo! Awesome. Okay, like I said, if you need to go about your day, awesome job, pat yourself on the back. If you have time, stick around with me. We'll do a nice stretch. Great job today. I am super proud of you working really hard. Now, if you feel like, eh, I'd like to get a little bit more, feel free to go back and do the core. Again, you get extra, extra bonus points if you do that. 
or do that cardio again as well. All right, let's grab that strap and go all the way around. Ooh, always remember, I think, I mean, I know Meg and I both are this way. We like to feel like we got our butts kicked when we work out. Pull that arm to the side. But remember, stretching and mobility is taking care of your body just as much as getting that heart rate elevated or doing strength training. So if you can, try not to avoid the stretching and mobility part. It's just as important to keep our bodies healthy. All right, let's lean forward. Look straight at the ground. Now drop down. We're gonna grab those ankles and pull ourselves over a little bit. Look straight back through the legs. Now let's bend at the knees. Bring it down and get that stretch that we did earlier. Probably feels a little bit looser now than it did before. Done some stretching. <laughs> Lean to the side. To the other side. Now instead of sitting back, we're gonna put those hands on the ground and we're gonna actually walk forward. Out into a plank. Bring that, that um, left leg up. We're gonna take that inside hand and open that inside hand up. Get a nice stretch on that chest. Put that leg down, then we're gonna come back. Stretch back into that down dog. Push those heels down into the ground. Come back down into that plank and bring that right leg forward now. And open that arm up, the inside arm. Get a nice stretch there. Put that hand down. Go back again into that down dog. Now this time, we're gonna raise that left leg up, drop it at the knee, and stretch out that hip and that core a little bit. Put that leg down, open up that right leg, drop at the knee, and open up. Now, let's go down to that um, tabletop. Let's separate those shoulders, rotate down. I wanna think about separating my shoulders. Not so much of an arch right here. I'm thinking about keeping those shoulders healthy. So I want to separate the shoulders, push the top of my back through the ceiling, looking at the mat. I've got hair or something in my mouth. Yeah. All right. Put that hand behind your head. We'll take that elbow to elbow and open that up. Elbow to elbow. Open. Try to keep all of that healthy. Take that, right, that left hand behind. Elbow to elbow and open. Try to get three or four of those. Really try to get some motion there without moving your hips too much. Just your chest. Now let's flip those wrists around. Stretch out. Part of the good thing about getting done early is that you can get a nice stretch in. When you're done with this, feel free to take a walk. A walk is a really good way to extend your calorie burn, but it also is just feels good to be outside. It's good for your... Um, Emotional well-being as well as your physical well-being. Okay, open up those knees and sink back. Meg and I have found that if we do like a mile walk after our workout, we can burn way more calories than we would if we just went for a straight walk. Take that hand to the 45, bring the other hand over. And more important than calorie burn is just that feeling like we have a good cool down and that emotional little pop of being outside in the sunshine like we talk about um, a lot. Maybe you remember the blog post about that. Now we get those hands straight out. Take that right hand underneath. Stretch out that shoulder. Nice deep breath in. Breathe out. Switch sides. And stretch out that shoulder. Let's get that tricep. Let's put that elbow in the ground. We're going to pull back and then push down and open up that, that chest on the other side. This is my favorite tricep stretch. Switch sides, so I don't push straight down from here, nothing happens. I have to pull back and then press down and open up. I really feel that one down my lats and in my tricep. All right, you know we always hit those hip flexors. Really important for our lower back, so put that right leg up. Tighten up that glute in that left side and lean forward. I wanna feel a stretch right in the front of this hip. We always talk about a lot of low back pain comes from our hip flexors, tight hip flexors. Release that, step out. So it's a good stretch to do. If you feel pain, like we've said before, if you feel pain in your lower back after you stand up, it probably is coming from your hip flexors. Heel down, toe up, straight back. 
lean forward. Now we're going to get the back of that hamstring. Remember to breathe in. And if you can, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. When you breathe out, always try to sink further down into whatever stretch you're in. Let's get that leg pulled in, straighten out that back leg, and lean over. This stretch always feels so good. Go to the outside and to the inside. Now we're gonna pull that leg around. Now, if you got sore on Monday, you may see that you still feel like, oh, I'm still a little bit tight. That's okay. Working through this workout is a really good way to loosen everything up. Then stretching afterwards whenever your muscles are warm, very good. All right. That Left leg is up now. We're going to tighten up that glute in the right leg as tight as you can get that, and we're going to lean forward. Tight glute, you should feel that more in the front of that hip. Take a nice deep breath as you breathe out. Remember through your mouth, sink deeper down into it. Relax that glute, step a little bit further out, and really stretch out that leg again. Remember, we're getting those hip flexors stretched out. They shorten as we sit a lot. If they shorten, then as we stand up and they're pulled, that's why we feel that tension in our low back as we stand up. Oh, I still have that tucked in. <laughs> Heel down, toe up, and lean over. That was from the warm up, I think. <laughs> this shirt's not always the best. I um, don't really wear two pieces a ton. Pull that leg in, and so my midsection is very, very, very pale. <laughs> So I always think it provides you with a little glare <laughs> when it gets flashed. <laughs> oh, funny. Walk that hand to the center. And to the outside. Let's swing that leg around and pull that hip back towards you. So it nice and tall. Enjoy that stretch. Now real quickly, let's get that hip. I love this stretch. I think this is really good for our stretch. If you're someone who has a hard time doing this one, that's a good stretch for you. We're going to straighten out that right leg. Put the left leg on top. I'm going to tighten up this foot and just open up that hip a little bit. Now, I'm going to take this foot in, move my booty in towards that foot. While I do that, I'm going to keep a straight back and I'm flexing this top foot. If my back is rounded, I'm not going to feel it. I have to keep a straight back. You should feel it in your hip pretty intensely. But keep that back straight, flex that top foot. And when I say flex, I mean pull those toes back towards your shin. Okay, switch sides. Open up this leg, same thing. We want to pull those toes back towards your shin. Now, put that foot down, straighten out that back, pull that Flex that top foot and move that booty towards your, your front foot. Get a nice stretch in that hip. All right, pull those legs in. Let's get those inner thigh real quick. Sit up nice and straight. Again, hunched over, not gonna do as much for you. So we want a nice straight back and then pull yourself in. It doesn't take much of a motion if your back is straight. Bring those legs to the outside. Like I said, we're gonna do a nice long stretch because you had a shorter workout, so we're gonna enjoy this. Grab those shins and reach across. We're gonna get that side, we'll get a little bit. Sometimes I feel it in my hip flexors as I pull this elbow. Now pull that elbow to the back a little bit. Now we're gonna straighten out this right leg. I'm gonna take my elbow and my left leg and I'm gonna reach out with that right hand. Keep that elbow in your leg. Remember, as I say, if you don't, you're going to lean over this way and not feel the stretch as much. I want to keep that elbow in my leg. Now I'm going to sit up nice and tall. Bring that arm across and lean over. And switch sides. Go to the other side. Elbow in your knee and lean out. <laughs> my Daughter and I watched Real Housewives at Beverly Hills reach across, and the reunion was on last night. Very interesting. We thought we didn't have it taped. <laughs> now pull his legs to the side, uh, but we was able to watch it. Holy cow. It was something. <laughs> if you're a Real Housewives watcher, 
please feel free to post a comment and let me know who you're for. Elbow to the back. I'm sure it's Garcelle. I can't imagine I'm going to have everybody say Dorit and um, Rena. <laughs> All right. Grab that right butt and pull that right foot back. Left leg is out. Ah. Take a nice deep breath as you breathe out, pull that leg back towards you. Remember to keep that leg straight. I'd rather it not be bent like this. I'd rather your leg be down here if that's all the further you can get it straight. Not much stretch is happening with this. Take that to the outside. Remember, it's not to drop all the way to the outside. If you're getting a lot of motion, pull it back towards your body a little bit more and that'll tighten that up. Now take it to the center, drop that toe to the center and then drop to the center. Taking that toe, turn towards the center should help you feel that on the outside of that hip a little bit more. Really reaches in and grabs all of that IT band. <laughs> all right, ankle on your knee. This time we're gonna pick that leg up, grab underneath your knee, use the elbow on your right arm, and as you pull back, use that elbow, here I'll show you like this, and pull or open up that knee a little bit. That'll stretch out that hip more. Nice deep breath when you breathe out, pull it back towards you. Take that foot to the ground, now let that knee fall. Right knee's going to the ground, I'm gonna reach that right hand out, my palm is down, I'm gonna walk that hand out and up just a hair. Enjoy that stretch on the front of that shoulder and in that chest. Now flip that palm up and walk that hand up just a little bit more and you're gonna feel that stretch in a little different spot. I love this stretch, it just really gets deep down into those chest and shoulder muscles. Then I'll take that leg and drop it to the other side. This is really stretching out those psoas muscles we talk about all the time whenever we're, or I'm mean, sorry, the psoas muscle is a hip flexor muscle. So it's just taught, it's stretching out one of those hip flexors. Hip flexors are <laughs> several muscles. Put that right leg out, that left leg up. We're gonna do the same thing, pull that left leg back, keep that left leg straight. Take a nice deep breath. When you breathe out, try to bring that leg back just a little bit more. Now take it to the outside. Again, keep it pulled taut. It's just a small motion to the outside. It's not all the way over. Just a small motion so that you feel that on the inside of that leg. Now take it to the center. Turn that toe to the center and across. Turning that toe to the center, you should really feel it on the outside of that hip. Now, ankle on your knee, same thing. I'm gonna take those hands, grab underneath my knee, and as I pull back, I'm gonna use now that left elbow to open up that left knee. Nice deep breath, pull back a little bit more. Breathe out through your mouth. Foot down, let that knee fall to the side. As you let that knee fall to the side, reach that palm down and walk it out and up just a little bit. Get a nice stretch in the front of that shoulder. Nice deep breath. Now flip that palm up and walk it up just a little bit more. And take that knee, take it to the other side. And let's stretch those arms and legs straight out. Try to separate those fingers from those toes. Sit up and just roll over and reach down and try to Stretch out the back of those hamstrings a little bit in that back. Now, really quickly, before we leave, I just want to hit that neck and shoulders, those traps. I, I really like the stretch. It's one I got from my chiropractor, and I think it's a good one. Put that hand on the side of your head. Let the weight of this arm pull that neck slightly. I want to feel a stretch right here, and I'm pulling that shoulder down. Don't let that shoulder creep up. Let that shoulder down and relax. Try to let that pull slightly to the side. Now put that chin down slightly. And pull that chin up slightly. When we use weights and we're holding them, a lot of times we carry a lot of tension in that upper back. I've talked a, a lot about a couple things you can work on to try to eliminate that. Hold, grab a hold of that side of your head and let it pull to the side. But just remember, as we're doing weights, whether you're lifting or whether you're doing goblet squats, don't let those shoulders creep up towards your ears. I want my shoulders down in my pocket. The other thing is when you're doing um, lifting exercises that you're bent over, rows, deadlift, chin down, make sure you're looking straight at the ground. Even looking slightly at the ground in front of you will cause tension in that upper back. And the third thing is, put that chin up, 
Remember when your head is on the ground, on the bench or on the mat, try to make sure you have a nice solid base in the back of that head. You don't want your, if you have your ponytail, so that when you push down into it, that chin is coming back down into there. We want to think about having a nice solid base so that when I push back, there's no movement of that chin down towards your chest. All right, great job today. Awesome, awesome job. Hopefully you had a, a great workout, feel like you got a good one in. Have a great weekend.